My name is Freddie Lee. Today is June 26, 2012. Today I've decided will be my retest for certification to be a Sifu under Freddy's Modern Kung Fu. I am the owner and founder of Freddy's Modern Kung Fu, but I will be living up to the standards that I have set for this school. If I cannot reach the fitness standards, I will drop the title of Sifu and continually work on my own development before I continue to teach other people. I live up to my own standards. This certification lasts for one year. So this video will be good until June 26, 2013. And by that time, I need to recertify again. These are the standards that I expect for all Sifus and certified trainers and instructors for Freddy's Modern Kung Fu to maintain. There has to be the standard. I do not believe certifications should last for a lifetime without effort to maintain. So this is my effort to maintain.
that's all. I completed my certification video today, so I passed, um, and I get to keep my rank of Sifu as the founder of this school, of this kun. I wish to live up to the standards that I established for the kun. I think it's very important that we hold ourselves to a higher standard as martial artists, body, mind, and spirit. Now, being fit is not good enough. We need to have intellect. We need to be developed spiritually. We need to be wise. Now, what I see that's prevailing in the martial arts are the extremes. You have the intellectuals, very knowledgeable. Maybe some of them are even wise but they're unfit, they're not complete, and therefore they are not martial artists on my book. And I believe that they should put the energy in to completing the balance, to strive for great fitness, to hold it to a higher standard. There's a quote that I saw in a police officer book that I liked and it was posted in their gym room where they work out. The quote was, once you choose law enforcement, you give up the right to be unfit. And I like that. I got the whole idea of setting these standards for the martial arts because of law enforcement. They have a fitness for duty test that you must be able to complete before you get hired. If you cannot complete the test, the fitness test, you cannot get hired. It does not, ma does not matter what college you come from, what degree you have, how smart you are, or what other credentials you have. If you cannot pass a fitness test, you can't get hired. And I like that. As the protectors of society, they should be held to that standard. But the problem is, once they get in, there is nothing, no standards that make them maintain their level of fitness. And that's a huge problem in law enforcement, and that's a huge problem within the martial arts community. We need to be fit, we need to be knowledgeable, we need to be intelligent, and we need to be wise. Only then do I see the person as a master, a sifu, a black belt, an advanced martial artist that is capable of teaching correctly. Now, a lot of athletes combat sport fighters may be very fit but they too lack a very important component which is wisdom they clear
clearly do not have wisdom because if they did, they would not be competing in those unhealthy, destructive ways. That is another problem. And even a bigger problem. So we need to find that balance. We need to train hard like athletes. We need to be fit like athletes. But we need to be intelligent and we need to be wise. We need to represent martial arts the way that it should be represented. I will hold myself to a higher standard. If there's no other role models out there for me to follow, I will be my own role model. I will lead by example. If I cannot lead by example, then I would rather not lead at all. Because then I may be leading people in the wrong direction. And I do not wish to do that. So for all those people who practice the martial arts, who consider themselves as black belts, who hold these titles of Sifu, Sensei, ninth degree black belt, 10th degree black belt, 55th degree black belt, 9th degree black belt. Have all the titles you wish to have, but it means nothing if you do not live up to the standard of a high level. And physically, it's something you cannot deceive. It's hard to deceive physically. Mentally, you could act as if you're very intelligent. Use very fancy words to make it seem that you're very intelligent. Make it seem like you're wise. You could trick people. But physically, it's much more difficult. If you claim yourself to be a master of the martial arts and you are clearly unfit, then it is clear you are not a master. You need to master yourself before you start teaching others to learn how to be masters themselves. If you cannot live up to the standard, I say drop the title, let it go, and earn it back. That's the only right way to do it. Otherwise, drop the title. I don't need to be Sifu Freddie Lee. I could just be Freddie Lee. I could still teach, but I'm not going to be a Sifu. If I cannot meet up the standards as a martial artist, I will not claim myself as a martial artist. I'm just a human being. You choose to listen or not listen, but I'm not a Sifu. I hold no rank. I'm not a martial artist. Maybe I may be consider myself an artist. But if we're going to take this label martial artist, make sure you earn it. That's what I say. Earn the labels that you choose to use.